wax fangs to gummy eyeballs, Halloween is a time to explore candy that can only be called gross. And what could be more gross than eating bugs? If you've ever wanted to chew on a cricket or feel a chocolate-covered worm slide down your throat, don't go anywhere. We're off to Southern California, where they don't hide the bugs. You can see them waiting inside every lollipop. Most people wouldn't eat bugs unless they were in candy. And you gotta give them some motivation. More than 10 years ago, Larry Peterman bought a candy store in Pismo Beach, California. He started making his very own bug candy, and the rest, they say, is bug history. Found out that people kind of like insects, and so he says, let's put some in some candy and see what happens. And chocolate covered anything. I mean, you can put chocolate on anything and people will eat it. Daniel, the resident bug dipper, dips crickets in chocolate. The chocolate really gives it the good flavor, like kind of when you um, eat chocolate dipped um, strawberries, where it just adds that sweet, sweet flavor to it. Some people will give anything a try, at least once. Oh, what is this? Chocolate covered insects. Oh. <laughs> it keeps you jumping and wiggling and all the other kind of things. <laughs> but that's not all. Amid the taffy and rock candy lurk worm suckers, ant candy, and insect inside pops. Larry was the first to put bugs inside hard candy. Mm, it just tastes like grape right now, but once you get down to it, then it's like crunchy at the worm and cricket. Making the suckers is a bug-filled process. The empty molds wait for the bait while the syrup heats up. Add a little protein and the stick. Now the liquid sweetness, sugar and spice, and everything nice. Believe it or not, buyers are not just kids. Larry says his most loyal customers are women, ages 25 to 50. Yummy. <laughs> you know, it's fun to see what people say. I don't know if I'd eat it, but I might give it as a gift. <laughs> so you can, you know, really get somebody something that's really disgusting. If you do get a gift that makes your skin crawl, remember, there is an extra special way to eat it. The best way to do it is to lick around until you get just the bug by itself, and then you can have the full flavor of the bug without the flavor of the candy going along with it. When you get to the cricket, you bite into it, but you can't really bite into it now. I've really never seen a worm cook quite like that. Kind of grosses me out. <laughs> that could be a fake worm, you know. They're, they're just pulling my leg, making me get all squeamish because I'm going to eat a worm. <laughs> but don't worry, these are not your ordinary household bugs. Larry is devoted to quality control. We raise our insects on good grains, good fruits, vegetables, that kind of thing, and prepare them in a way that's acceptable to the FDA to put in the candy. Larry sells over two million worm pops every year. He offers many other surprisingly sweet treats, too. Gunnar Gomez, for one, is satisfied. If you want to eat bugs, there are a lot of, there are a lot of us out here. <laughs> it's not in the closet anymore. <laughs> Yummy.